Though most of the laureates in the Canadian Hall of Fame traveled widely, Charles Drake accomplished most of his medical advances here in southwestern Ontario. Born in Windsor, Drake finished medicine at Western and returned to the university to instruct physiology after interning at Toronto General. Dr. Kenneth McKenzie spotted Drake's potential and he encouraged him to seek further training. Drake left for Yale and the first session of further study. A year later, he was back in London at Victoria Hospital as resident surgeon, only to be offered the chance to travel to Europe, particularly to Sweden, where surgeons were entering parts of the brain once thought inoperable. Upon his return to Victoria Hospital, Drake soon became the chief neurosurgeon in the region. It was here that he perfected surgical techniques on basilar aneurysm. Most of his traveling was now behind him. From this point, the world would come to Charles Drake. His return to the University of Western Ontario, where he became professor and chairman of the Department of Clinical Neurological Sciences, was where the traveling stopped. Surgeons anxious to learn from Drake made every effort to study at University Hospital and to get some career advice from the down-to-earth neurosurgeon. I tell him uh, that work is the spice of life and that it does mean some hardship for their, for their uh, family. But uh, there's no alternative to it if, uh, if you're going to make your mark in surgery. Uh, I tell them, uh, at least to me, and I think to many other senior surgeons that I know, that, the, that another spice of life is to match your wits with the best in the game. Uh, those minds that are trying to do the same thing you are to beat the disease and disorder that you face, to lick it. That's what it's all about. Oh yes, work. That is but what it's not. all about, regardless of a person's gifts, intelligence, and drive. The one thing common among all ten inducted into the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame is that each person took those gifts and worked. The surgeons who listened to Charles Drake were given the key to progress and success, the kind of success which eventually benefits Canada and all mankind.